Hi guys, I'm in Walmart. <laughs> I want to get more flowers. I'm in Walmart here. So this is a uh, Kala Lily. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. So this is a bigger one of Kala Lily. I've been roaming around and these are my choices. I remember uh, Mike's birthday is coming. So I've got this uh, Kala Lily too. And they are 1097. And this one, the hibiscus. The hibiscus is also Perignal and this is 9.98 and one peperomia there and the other one I don't know I just like to get that because it's purple all right the same time I'm looking for a seed caution because we throw the seed caution in the and <laughs> I'm distracted this is uh, Asiatic Lily 974 Beautiful look at that look at the flowers so beautiful and this one oh also Kala Lily I think I'm gonna get one of this at least different color beautiful they're so beautiful just one <laughs> Plants are expensive now. Okay. It's Perinia, Perinia. Beautiful. All right, I need to go. Where else? <laughs> or else I look more. Okay, I love this one. This tiny. It's 597 but it's annual. I don't want annual, they die. They won't come back. And more geranium over there. And more over here. If you see that, let me check this one first. Alright, this one is oh daisy is annual too. I love this, this petunia. Look at the colors. The color is so purple, beautiful. Petunia, it's 870, but it's annual, guys. I don't wanna take a chance in annual. I lost a lot last time. But look at that, beautiful. Oh, so I need to go. Okay. All right, guys. All right. So two of this design, and then two of the kind design. They're good. They look good. All right. So I have. I got one more of this. This is a plug embroidered yard plug so uh, the design is uh, the design is flamingo and it's super super cute i will put it in the backyard this one i've got this rustoleum this color because i want to spray the 
fence the bamboo fence that I attached to the gate all right all right guys so this is the plants I'm gonna spray them neem oil to saturate them so but not right now because it's still sunny here so this is color lily this is yellow 1097 it's a perennial that's why I like it uh, I just want them to climatize then I'm gonna put them all on the ground and this one is also color lily this is also 1097 these two are the same color there you go so beautiful the yellow is so beautiful look at that but I want them to climatize first here I might put them on a bigger pot then after a month they're gonna go on the ground so this one is 597 this is I'm sure this is peperomia I was attracted to the color purple and all at the back are my holiday cactus uh, I don't know what's this foliage premium I, I'm just <laughs> attracted to the I don't know if it will survive here Looks like uh, dying already. Why did I cut it? <laughs> they were just newly watered. Maybe needs always moist water. Okay, now this is hibiscus. Two years ago, I I got hibiscus, but I killed it. <laughs> Two hibiscus. So this one is beautiful. In Tagalog and Philippines, we call it gumamela. So they love sun, and it's 988. I'm not sure they are. I always also look for the hardy to zone 10, so I'm 10A, so they should. <laughs> I don't know if it's perennial or what. Okay, and I have two of that. So I just need to clean and then we'll put on the container first. So that's it. Those are the three, four, five, six, seven plants. And this one is my other uh, plant stand. This is six dollars something. I've got three. I used the other one already. All right, that's it for today's shopping. Happy Monday guys, today is May 20, 2024, it's almost 12 noon, still a bit <laughs> gloomy here, okay still this is, this flowering blooming cactus still open, but the four over there, they're closed, I just want to go at the backyard, to show you I could see there is something on the bushes on the straw all right guys from this table I want to bring you at the back yard <laughs> over there because I can see something here all right I'm gonna discuss what are the updates of the garden this one was planted a few weeks ago these are my propagated one two three I shared that uh, 
maybe a year ago for the beginners so easy to propagate and care and the yellow <laughs> that's daisy right that one and this one and that one they're <laughs> they're having a hard time because i planted them on the ground they will they need to to be set up first then they will try and this is the hydrangea <laughs> we planted here too that's the two hydrangea and they will grow they will grow they will you know when you planted uh, when you plant a plant on the ground they will have a hard time first and then until they will be thriving all right so this one is a piece of a uh, branch from the pomelo tree here which was trimmed by Mike so instead of throwing I told Josh to put it on the ground because my plan is to put this this bird thing all right so let's go to the purpose why I brought you here there you go let me deal here first the roses is still ongoing some already you died some and I have four roses that I need to plant on this bed planter but I want them to grow more and we need to to do something on the soil here we need to amend it's not a good soil anymore so over here the branch lavender still blooming let me google if i can take out the four at the back and then re, uh, plant on the other part of the backyard and the one in the middle because they will grow more lavender English lavender I'm gonna trim them get the flowers on Mike's birthday and that's a bongabilia English lavender and this is the <laughs> two elephant bush that I put in a container but I decided to put it here as they grow I will just trim and this is another kind of uh, elephant bush before I'll bring you to the flowers here okay this is my my grapes I don't know what type of grapes I just planted it here and it grows <laughs> before I noticed that they have a, they got disease you know on the leaves so brown and they're dying so I google and when we water the grapes do not water the upper part and the leaves no just the base over here so it won't get diseases and once in a while Mike spray them an organic spray all right they're growing i don't know <laughs> what else i can do we need to get trellis for that and this one is a canna lily that i beheaded i do believe that's yellow and this one is also canna lily that I beheaded. This is orange. And the one who grow more best is this one. The red one is canna lily. So I beheaded them, if you see. That's my cut over there. And they grow because they got ugly a few months ago and they grow. And now 
this is what I'm seeing. <laughs> Look at that, so beautiful. The only thing is uh, the flower is so heavy. <laughs> All right, one more head, two, three. I've seen my neighborhood there. Kana lily is so big. That's why I decided to put them on the ground. Three. If they become ugly, just behead them and they will grow again. And then I put a lot of compost around the base of this kind of lily. So beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Alright. Amazing plants. So tropical. Thank you guys thank you so much god bless you god loves you jonah loves you too always uh <laughs> always plant something <laughs> you will see it will bloom one day keep growing keep gardening keep propagating and keep sharing your passion in gardening bye bye Thank you.